dry skin, here's how much water you should be drinking. So now, you know, it's here in the US, it's cold and it's, it's dry, cold, dry weather, at least here in Texas, right? And then we're all indoors and guess what? Indoors, we got all this heater blowing, right? The heaters actually, yes, they keep us warm, but they're actually drying us up, making us like a prune. It actually dehydrates us faster than anything. And we just don't even realize it. So how much water should you drink? We're all drinking water, right? So the theory, there's so many different theories. Drink water based on your weight, your sex, your height, all of that is inaccurate because everybody's body's metabolism, water metabolism ability is different. So the key is your urine color. Look at your urine color by 3 to 4 p.m. Um, this is excluding taking vitamins, but at 3 to 4 p.m., your urine needs to be crystal clear. So that's how much water you should drink. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have bad eczema and have been to four different doctors and nothing worked. Um, they kept coming back. I decided to go see Dr. Yin. It's been 35 days. My body is completely clear of the eczema. Uh, he's a magician. It's amazing. I would recommend anybody with skin problems or other problems that acupuncture can help to go see Dr. Yin. I want to take a break from the biohacking tips and just to ask, I had a patient today who brought in the um, her baby, and we were looking at, and she and this this baby had some eczema on the all over her body, and um, I was looking at the formula that they were feeding it, and it was recommended by the pediatri by their pediatrician, and they knew this baby had uh, milk allergies, and so they gave it a formula that was supposed to be hypoallergenic. And so as I was looking through the formulas, the, the, form, the ingredients of the formula, um, I was wondering, okay, it still had casein in it. And so casein is just part of dairy. I was like, if your baby is allergic to milk, to cow, cow's milk, animal milk, you shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't be using products, a formula that actually has cow's milk in it. It doesn't matter if it's just a small quantity. So. This is more of a question to my physician friends, and maybe my physician friends, y'all can uh, comment on this. But also, it wasn't that wasn't the biggest part of this formula. So this formula is recommended by you know pediatricians, and the most the biggest part of it was it had uh, corn of uh, corn syrup and uh, corn fructose, not. Like high, uh, co high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what that is. It had corn syrup, uh, corn starch, genetically modified corn syrup, genetically modified corn starch in this baby formula. And now, granted, this baby was coming in to see me for eczema, okay, inflammation of the skin. So I was wondering, okay, huh, why is this? Why are we? Why are we having our babies eat? formula that has corn syrup in it. Um, we all know that corn syrup is terrible for the body, so why are we giving it to uh, our brand new babies? And no wonder she's gonna have eczema to, to you know, to whatever. Uh, but why are we recommending, maybe my physician friends, y'all can tell me, why are we recommending this to the babies? So it had milk in it, it had dairy casein in it, it had uh, corn starch, it had corn syrup, it had uh, genetically modified soy, it had um, all the different palm oils um, and some other chemicals that I can't even pronounce myself, even being a medical professional. And so this, uh, I, you know, this just boggles my mind. Like, and there was 10 grams of sugar per serving. 10 grams of sugar per serving for an infant. What is going on with this baby formula? Please, my physician friends, can you comment on this and enlighten me? Um, for me, you know, just being reading this, I'm thinking, no wonder diabetes is an epidemic here in the US because we're starting them young. We're getting them hooked on corn syrup. Um, there's, there's something wrong with this. And so, you know, Obviously, I recommended this this, this patient the, the patient's mom to basically find something that is organic um, and soy, corn and soy are the two most genetically modified foods here in the U.S. Why are we feeding it to our babies, right? So I told her get her get her. I mean, soy is good, 
But if, if, if a baby is having some allergic reaction to something that they, don't, they have no idea what it is, um, besides just giving them steroids, okay? You gotta figure out what's causing the eczema. It's an allergic reaction to something. And so I told her to get off of soy, get off of the corn syrup, get off of the sugar, excess sugar. And, uh, you know, those are the two most allergenic foods, to, even for adults, right? So wh why are we feeding it to the babies? You know, breast milk is the best thing for the babies. So we need to be promoting more breast milk instead of, you know, these formulas. Now, I did recommend her to go try some, another organic option that doesn't have dairy, soy, uh, or tons of sugar. And so, but again, physician friends, can you, you know, shed some light into why pediatricians are recommending high sugar uh, formula, baby formula, and baby formula that has cow's milk in it, and baby's milk uh, formula that has uh, genetically modified soy and cornstarch. Why are we recommending this to our babies? Um, it just boggles my mind. Maybe y'all have some uh, some reasoning. I don't know. Uh, this is not a, a, a this is not this this is a not a, a bashing uh, post. This is just to get more clarification. So again, physician friends, if you can help me out and uh, post and just you know share some insight uh, about maybe something that I don't know, uh, but we typically at Achieve Integrative Health we typically don't treat kids. Uh, we're not pediatricians. We're not specialists specialists in treating kids, but this was a favor, and so I wanted to make sure that I took care. Uh, of this little baby, uh, but for adults, if you have allergies, okay, if you have some food allergies, we can help you. Uh, get give us a call if you are having eczema. Uh, adults get eczema too, okay. Eczema, psoriasis, we have got great success, um, and a lot of it is just changing your gut and improving the gut health and also your lung health and your skin health. So give us a call, AchieveIntegrativeHealth.com. We are the number one acupuncture and wellness clinic in Central Texas. Physician friends, please comment and let me know what the hell's going on, and please enlighten me, all right? For the rest of y'all, uh, there's no need to suffer for, with skin disorders, guys. There's no need to suffer. It's usually a reflection that something internally is going wrong. We can help you since we are specialists at restoring organ function. That's how we help you. All right, guys.